everyone, welcome back to my channel again. And today we're doing this soft matte mauve look that I have on my face right now. And if you wanna know how I got it, then keep watching. Bam. Before we begin, I just wanna let you know that I'm eating this grapefruit, not coffee. Usually I start my mornings off with coffee, a bunch of creamer and sugar, and I'm not doing that today. So this is a big deal. I'm, this is a grapefruit. And I just ate that grapefruit. Mm. Back into the makeup. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Poreflexional Primer on my face to close my pores. Actually put that on my nose, cheeks, and right in there. Okay, so now that my pores are all closed, I'm gonna take Too Faced Hangover RX which is another primer that is silicone free. It's a lot thinner, but it's gonna make your foundation look a lot smoother. So I'm gonna put this on the outer parts of my face. I feel like I have a lot of hair going on. I have extensions on for like the first time in a really long time actually, so I wanna show them off to you guys, but at the same time I feel like I just have so much hair. But they look really pretty. They're from Foxy Locks and they match perfectly. I love them, but there. I think that's the right amount of hair. After my primer, we're gonna start on the foundation, right? Because that's what you do. And today I'm using Smashbox Studio Skin. The, and this is in the color 2.4. So I'm just gonna put some on my hand and take my foundation brush. This is, this is from Zoeva. It's the 107 Powder Polish Brush. And I'm just gonna evenly apply that all over my face and down my neck. I've been using the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer and it's one of those concealers where it exceeds your expectations. Coverage is about medium and it easily blends into your skin. I like that it brightens my under eye area without creasing and it kind of acts as a highlight if I don't want to put a highlighter on that day. As this foundation and concealer dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I'm gonna do that off camera. If you guys want an updated brow routine, let me know. I'll just make a specific video for the brows. But I'm gonna do that off camera, come back and work on the rest of my face and my eyes. To set my foundation today, I'm gonna use the Smashbox powder and big fluffy brush from Bare Minerals and just apply that on top of my foundation. I'm gonna contour a little bit, um, just taking the contour and bronze and kind of chiseling out my cheekbone. This quick little contour that I'm doing, I do it, it's like it never changes. It hasn't changed so far. I haven't found another contour that I really love, so um, if you guys want me to do a separate video for this too, I can. Just let me know in the comments below and if I get enough comments, then I'll make a video for you guys so that you can refer back to it when I don't show you how I do my contour in just like a regular video. So let me know. I'm already almost done with my nose contour. And this is just like on a regular basis. This is part of like my foundation routine. Alrighty. So now that we're all contoured, contoured right now. So I've been really into lip glosses lately and this um, today I'm trying the Kaylin Extreme Matte Lip Tints and this one here is in the color Narcissist. It's a warm bright pink color. I'm gonna swatch that for you and it dries matte and what I like about it is that it's not sticky. And then I also have this one here and this one is in the color Illusionist. I'm gonna use Illusionist, which is the darker color. I'm gonna try a darker lip today and go around that color. I 
It feels very velvety. If I really love a lip color, sometimes I'll just put that on first and it helps me figure out what colors to use on my eyes. So for my eyes today, I'm going to be using this IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Celebration Palette, picking up Miracle. It has like an orange undertone to it, which I really like for the crease. And I'm just going to sweep that back and forth along the crease with a Zoeva 224 brush. Next, I'm picking up Peace and applying this to the outer half of the lid using light short strokes as I blend towards the center of the lid, still leaving the inner half open and pretty naked. To intensify the outer part of the crease, I'm going to pick up Hot Cocoa, which is this matte chocolate brown, and work that into the outer V area. Even if it's like a little messy, it doesn't matter because we're gonna blend it out with a blending brush till I like the amount. And then once it gets like this, then I take my blending brush just to blend it upwards towards the brow bone. And here I'm just building up the intensity as I go and just dipping back into the hot chocolate and blending until I like the way it looks. Now I'm going to pick up Snow Angel and apply that to the inner part of the lid. Um, you want to use anything that's very similar to your natural skin tone. This obviously came out a little bit too strong for me so I just took a big blending brush and blended some of the product away and it actually worked out pretty well so on the other part of my eye I just used less of the product and then I blended it blended it and then I blended it into blended how do you say that blended then I blended it into the other colors for my brow bone highlight, I'm using the Radiance Ribbon and I'm just going to apply that right below my brow and blending it downwards into the other colors so that it transitions nicely and everything looks soft and blended. Next I'm going to pick up Hot Cocoa and just run it on the outer part of the lower lash line. So I decided to skip on the wing liner today and I'm going to go straight for the mascara and lashes. Today I'm using the Smashbox Photo Op Eye Brightening Mascara Illuminator. Next I'm gonna pop on these lashes from Foxy Locks and these are in Lovely Lashes. So this is the finished eye look, so now I'm gonna move on to highlighting and some blush. I'm gonna brighten my under eyes a little bit more. Lately I've been using this eyeshadow as an under eye brightener. For blush today, I'm going to use the Instain. What? Oh, this is so cute. It's from The Balm. It's called, what is it called? Argyle. And it's a blush. It's super cute. It looks like a magazine cover. I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks using my 126 Zoeva cheek brush. So this is the final look guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want your own Pure Lust Extreme Matte Duo Tint Set, yes that was a little <laughs> mouthful, go ahead and check the description box for more details. And that's it. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Your tweets are over to the side so before you leave go ahead and check them out. And if you missed my last two videos, they are right down there for you. And I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next video. Bye, dollies. Bye.